I'd like to introduce Madonna Thunderhawk, uh, who can talk about uh, a particular article in the Declaration on the Rights of uh, Indigenous People, Article 7, that has to do with children. Uh, Madonna Thunderhawk, please. Thank you. Um, good morning. Uh, yeah, my name is Madonna Thunderhawk, and I come here from the state of South Dakota. Uh, right now, there's all the issues that Tom had just talked about is what we're facing there with the, the issue of fracking looming, the pipelines, the Excel pipeline. I mean, the, we're, we're still in the struggle on all uh, fronts, but one of the main ones is, is our children. And I'm here, be, took time to come here from South Dakota because of Article 7 in the Declaration. Uh, the de Declaration definitely needs to uh, be elevated to a uh, convention status so they'll put some teeth in enforcement because the state of South Dakota is still trafficking in our children, Lakota children, Indian children. Um, they get millions of dollars in, fe in federal dollars every year for the so-called child welfare services. So um, I, I really feel that it's important for this, for this um, um, meeting that's coming up in the UN. And hopefully there will be some grassroots and real indigenous people's um, points and, and it will be heard and it won't just be on. And this is a massive uh, bureaucracy. We understand that. We've had to deal with this stuff for years. And I was at Brown in 77. I was there when we had the first international Indian treaty a meeting held on the Standing Rock Indian Reservation in South Dakota that started this whole um, movement going to open the eyes of the UN. Thank you. Thank you, Madonna Thunderhawk. And for uh, the press here to know that Miss Madonna Thunderhawk uh, has been coming to the United Nations since 1977, as uh, William Simmons here has been coming to the United Nations since 1981, and myself, you know, two years later. But we've been coming here for uh, three and four decades, Tom Goldtooth uh, as well.